You know, whether it's streamers fighting other streamers or pros going at each other's throats, we've seen countless unforgettable outplays throughout Fortnite history. A great outplay will make anybody cheer at the edge of their seat. That's why in today's video, we're gonna be looking at 10 of the most iconic outplays in Fortnite history. Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back to inspire you to be great. Come on now, you already know what I'm gonna say. Not only in this game, but also in life. Man, never give up. Keep going, man. Make sure you grab that dream. Grab that dream, go after it. Back when Fortnite was in his heyday, Ninja was sort of the de facto best player. However, Daekwon was slowly rising to take over him in the ranks. So the two ended up in the same match one day. And as soon as Daekwon saw Ninja's sweaty chapter one base, an intense 1v1 ensued. Yeah, that's, that's him. That's, that's gotta be him. Is that him? <laughs> That's gotta be him. Nobody else is gonna do that. Definitely him. Daquan really put up an excellent fight that day, but in the end, Ninja outplayed him fair and square. Now, real quick, the next season is on the horizon, so if you want to get pro one-on-one -on -one coaching and bot analysis, head on over to ProGuys.com, where the best of the best go to improve at Fortnite. One of the biggest disputes to ever come out of Fortnite has to be Clicks vs. Unknown, and it all started when Clicks stopped Unknown dead in his tracks with a single bullet. For context, all right, these two had a bit of a rivalry. So when Clicks one tapped Unknown and just threw in a little dance, Unknown became furious. That dude was hot. With that uh, mythic drum gun was what had his legendary run during the World Cup, so obviously only one of them left, but you never want to get their hands on here. He's trying to push his way through. He's made it ahead of those four or five other players in Lazy who are just sitting there. Going to maybe make his rotate, but he takes down Unknown. That is two titans of this game. We talk about aggressive players. Clicks, bit of a dance on them. They've got a history together. They've versed each other so many times. And man, Clicks taking down Unknown. He will not be happy about that one. So after this, I know that Clicks is drop spot the next game to try and grief him. Which spark the beat that lasted months. Still an amazing outplay though. Okay, so although Ninja and CDN the third are friends, they still do what friends do best, constantly banter about who's better at video games. But one day, their banner ended up getting a little too heated. <laughs> Listen, kid, because you're talking nonstop. I'm like, bro, we gotta land together. You do these solo missions like you're playing I do solo. I, I, I... And then, and then, and then, no, 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 shut up, boy, it's my turn to talk. And then you get downed. And then you you get down. Get out. You don't even watch the kids. That happened bro, one you know, time. Times you got down first, bro. Once. You know, three games in a row where you got down, down, down. So they decided to settle the score once and for all by queuing into solos, picking Dusty Depot as their arena, and just duking it out. All right, pay attention to seize his ammo count here, because this was a close one. You even land here?
Let's go, baby! Mongrel always seems to have the funniest reactions, but the absolute funniest has to be when he eliminated Aqua. All right, so like many pros, these two usually joke around after killing each other, but during this cash cup, Mongrel pulled out all the stops and just tried to humiliate him as much as possible. That's it. I'm gonna drop, I'm dropping. Aqua on me! Come on, Aqua! Turn! Dance! 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 So even though it wasn't that much of an outplay, Mongrel's hilarious reaction is enough for it to be considered iconic, just like with his next play. Controller domination was at an all-time high in Season 2, at least on the PC circuit, and most keyboard players, if not all of them, held huge animosity toward controller pros. So when Chap came across Scope during an arena game, he just had to do him silly. On controller player. Oh my god. That's right, guys. Chat pulled scope right into his own grenades. Yo, that sucks. <laughs> Although this next one may be even bigger. Whew. So the North America versus European debate has raged like for an eternity in esports, Fortnite included. We don't really know which region has better talent, but when 90 ping Benji Fishy absolutely bullied Liquid Stretch during the finals of a major tournament, well, let's just say EU earned another point that day. This kid's bad. Let's go! Wait, nah, there's no way that's a real stretch. All right, speaking of NA versus EU, the last time these players met in an in-person tourney was DreamHack back in February. As usual, a known was in pure W key mode. It didn't matter if you were a noob or even a pro in the case of Mr. Savage here. This is probably the laggiest game I've had. Savage went on to win that DreamHack event, but at least Unknown had the satisfaction of knowing he put him in the blender. Man, oh man, this was some smooth piece control. So back in June 2018, Tifu was on the rise and considered the best Fortnite player in the world. So when a completely unknown kid named Skeptic got in a build battle with him and came out as the victor, everyone paid this guy notice. That guy's airdrop is lagging. Free! Stop lagging, rare drop. A renegade raider. What's this guy doing? Really? What the? So there you have it. Skepta was so happy, and that fight literally helped launch his career. It's crazy to really think about how something so big can really just come from one moment. The Fall Skirmish Finals was probably the most stacked tournament at the time, and with 62 players in the endgame, Nick Merckx and Aiden were hungry for kills. They picked up a couple, but it must have been not enough because then they went for even more. The comms between these two we were watching earlier, you can They're see in a Nick huge just build battle right now. It's Morgasi and Saint versus Nick Merckx and Aiden. Nick and Aiden trailing, getting some damage done. If they get these two, they're in big bonus territory. Aiden matching this, look at what he's doing right, absolutely stunning. He's got the high ground for the moment. The shot comes in. Are you kidding me? Saint. 
Nick fighting out. There's the other, and Nick's on his feet, folks. It's big bonus. With the big bonus activated, Nick and Aiden got more limbs than any other duo, earning them $30,000 just for a few minutes of fragging. And the cherry on top, they were two controller players in a tournament dominated by PC pros. Pretty big outplay if you ask me. All right, so for the last outplay, knowing how to build is essential in Fortnite. And I think the moment many of us truly understood why was when we watched Myth outbuild the heck out of FPS veterans summon 1G. I will die if he notices me though, which should be very easy to notice me to be honest. Let's go this way. Summit kept trying to ramp up to the young architect, but mid speedy one by one technique proved to be too powerful. And in the end, Summit was left reconsidering his future in Fortnite. Wow. He built the, he kept building up and building up and building up and I couldn't catch him. 1400. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed those incredible outplays. Let me know which moment was your favorite in the comments, all right? And if you wanna see more, you know, you gotta make sure to like the video, sub, you know, to the channel. When we hit that one million, man, we're gonna release a story of how your motivation guy made it to where I'm at today. And uh, look, we're gonna probably be doing something part two in no time, man. So make sure to, to continue to come back and just stick around. And bunch of crunch, Army, come on. Keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going.